Okay, so let's go ahead and continue our um, uh, discussion of structural isomers uh, doing these structural isomers, C4H10. Okay, so the most obvious one, of course, would be the C's all in one, right? Okay, in fact, if we do it this way, it's called butane. Remember, all the hydrogens have to be on the end, because if we got two hydrogens together, right, that's hydrogen gas, bubbles away. Okay, so that is a different molecule. So if the only requirement of our <coughs> molecule is that it's got four carbons and ten hydrogens, we can build this in a several different ways. So let's try to build it in a different way. Well, here I'll do the carbon back first. For you guys. Okay, so we could do three carbons in a row if we wanted to, right? And put one carbon on top, like that. Okay, so that's got a different quote unquote backbone than the other one does. Okay? And then we draw in all our hydrogens. And let's do the bond line structures of both of these molecules while we're at it. Okay? So remember, like Charlie Brown. Okay. So, well, here, let's turn it over. Okay? So we'll go up, down. So one, two, three, four, right? One, two. Three, four, like that. Everybody okay with that one? So, start at the top. One, two, three, like that. And then the fourth one's down like that. Okay? So why do we put it like that? Because um, we want it to be at the, the points, okay? It kind of looks weird if we do it like this. Because that's not an ideal bonding, okay? So, if it helps you, and erase that, we could draw it a different way. We can draw it with this guy on top, like that. Okay. So, you kind of want to represent these with more idealized bonding. Okay. So, um, in fact, those are the only uh, structural isomers of C4H10, I guess. They have some other ones, but those aren't C4H10. Those are C4H8s. Right. We could do some C4H8s. Let's do those. Can we erase these ones and do some C4H8s? Well, why don't we just kill this video and do its own video? Are there any questions about this? <coughs> 